Hey guys, this is Linton with Quality Pro Reviews, and in this video I'm just going to be covering a, a pretty well-known topic, but just in Reason 9.5, and I'm going to be talking about resampling. So what is resampling? Resampling is taking your existing uh, performance or recording in your session and bouncing that out to audio and then just doing more stuff with it from that point on. So whether you want it to sample it again, if you want to add some effects, some distortion, maybe you want to chop it up, you know, do things differently. So that's basically what resampling is. So I have uh, a little composition I've been working on in Reason 9.5 uh, using uh, two contact instances. One has the Rev library by output which is a library of uh, just reversed instruments and patches. And then um, the other contact five instance is uh, Exhale, another uh, library by output, which is a vocal sample library. And then I have a Kong drum designer just with some uh, drum samples in there. So really basic stuff. I'll let you hear it first and then we'll talk about what I'm gonna resample. So here we go. Yeah, so that's the beat in its totality. Right now it's a loop. If I switch to my sequencer view, you can see, if I zoom out, you can see it's just an eight bar loop. And what I'm gonna be resampling is uh, my Rev performance, which is basically this patch called Nice Harmonics. That's a really cool sound. I have the track selected so I can play it on my keyboard. So really cool sound. Really cool sound. So I'm basically going to take this sound and bounce it out and resample it. Just do some cool stuff with it. All right. So I'm just going to walk you through the steps of how I would do it. I find it to be the quickest way to do it in Reason 9.5. And yeah, if you have any other cool ways of doing it, let me know in the comments. But I find this is the quickest way for me. So I'm going to take uh, the session I have. I'm just going to go to file and then I'm going to go to bounce mixer channels. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select the mixer channel that I want to bounce, which is the rev one. And where it says range to bounce, I'm just going to do loop. So that's going to be the left to right locator. And then instead of bouncing it to my disc, as an audio file, I'm going to bounce to a new track in this song. And I'm also going to mute the original channel. So I'm getting a lot, a lot of stuff done in one fell swoop. So that's perfect. Then the last thing I'm going to do is under apply mixer settings, I'm going to set this to none. So basically the signal is going to be tapped before EQ. If you're coming from the EQ lingo days, you have pre and post. So this would be pre. And that's basically going to be it. And then I'm going to hit OK. And in a little while, you see my new channel. So there's my channel with my wave in there. Perfectly synced up. And if we quickly go to Mixer View, you'll see that my original Rev uh, Contact 5 instance is muted. Right, so it's there, it's muted. So let's go back to sequencer view. I'm just gonna play it. You're gonna notice that it doesn't sound any different, it's gonna sound the same. So that's all well and good. So from this point, we could start going, you know, bonkers with it if you wanted to do some cool stuff with it right from here. So if I go to my rack view and I select that audio track, and then go to Show Insert Effects, I could start adding some cool effects to this, right? So for instance, I'm gonna search for Glitch, which is an effect I have. 
It's made by Ocean K. I think I got this rack extension for about nine bucks on the uh, propeller head shop. But it's a really cool effect. You get uh, a lot of cool things you can do, like uh, shuffling the sound, stuttering, adding a gate, a uh, tape stop effect, or a reverse, reverse effect. So I'll just go through so you can get an idea of some of the cool things you can do. So shuffle basically shuffles the audio based on the the note the note duration you've set so right now it's set to eighth note so if i do it now and of course i can move this to like 60 notes 30 second notes or I can go to fourth notes. So pretty cool effect. And of course we have the stutter effect, so I'll let you hear what that sounds like. And you can go to eighth notes. Here's what 30 second note sounds like. <laughs> we also have the gate effect. I'll let you hear what that sounds like. So a lot of cool stuff. And of course the tape stop effect. All right, so a lot of cool stuff. Here's that reverse effect. So lots of cool stuff. And like I said, from this point you can get as creative as you want so if i wanted to add something else like say the audiomatic retro transformer i wanted to change the sound maybe i want vinyl i could do something like that you know you know so you can get as crazy as you want right so that's just an idea of resampling on the surface, right? So in the next video, I'm basically going to be taking this and moving up to the next step of how you can take this existing audio sample and chopping it up to, you know, getting some really interesting variations. So that'll be in my next video. But if you like this video, hit that like button, please share. And if you haven't already subscribe. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.